Hey, I'm Kay, a DM. Um, this time I'm uh, recapping session seven and eight. Um, so let's get in. Um, I like the first uh, session. Um, a little recap. Uh, the uh, well, two players uh, interrogated uh, the Verget, and um, one uh, the other player that was uh, the wizard. He had uh, uh, his own uh, facts quest to do to get uh, a scroll of a major illusion. Um, overall, it went pretty well, pretty, pretty right. Um, but the more detailed um, first of the, the interrogation went uh, pretty good, I think. Dropped some uh, some minor uh, hints for later. And. Um, well, some uh, stuff uh, that um, the players to investigate, like uh, uh, well, the how to hide out and uh, stuff. Um, also, the the party like had a, a sp uh, split up for a little bit um, in three parts. The the wizard was in the, the bookstore. Uh, that was fun. Uh, she's uh, protective of her books, so. He needed to um, convince her to uh, sell the the scroll. Um, uh, to, to visit the warlock. Well, kept an eye out on uh, kept interrogating. So um, um, yeah, he learned some uh, new things. Um, and um, well, the 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 fighter who was uh, bitten by the werret went to like uh, the potion store to see if uh, it was uh, a, a cure against where it uh, is him like entropy um and yeah uh, that's um um i think where uh, everything that went well what went less great in my opinion um um well during this split up one player uh, well, he uh, threw in like a complaint about complaint about time. I don't remember if uh, one player had had too much time or if one player had too little. Um, don't know exactly. I don't remember, uh, but it uh, took me by surprise and off guard, and um, it uh, took me a few seconds to get back on my feet. Um, so that was un unpleasant, but yeah, well, uh, not the end of the world. Um, I do the another thing I am worried about. Uh, the fighter, I'm not sure if he in character doesn't want to be a werret or uh, out of character doesn't want to be a werret or possibly both. Um, and that does matter. Because like, uh, well, if the player really, the player himself really hates the idea of being a werewolf, well then it will be no fun. Uh, um, if the player does like the idea, but uh, is playing it up like the, the character, doesn't want to be a werewolf. That could uh, then we could have a lot of fun, you know. Um, uh, also, um, uh, I did like have a plan um, for a location for them to go, uh, the the hideout of the Verret. Um But um, they didn't go there. They instead went uh, to the the uh, Wizard Academy. Um, uh, so. Um, yeah, I wasn't prepared for that, but uh, it didn't really matter in the end. Um, they uh, did, however, get uh, a new quest here, um, and I did literally, literally say that little. Um, I have a quest for you, uh, uh, if you're interested. And that's not the most subtle way of giving a quest, so I'm not entirely pleased. Um, uh, but they did, the players did take the 
the quest immediately. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing. Being just completely blunt, we have a quest here. Or if I, I do like a little bit because it um, it felt railroady, you know, saying uh, I have a quest. I I'm worried they took the quest because um, they felt like obligated to, instead of uh, because it sounded interesting. Um, the quest in 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 uh, the quest I gave her them was uh, well. Uh, she wishes to uh, hire uh, Zardos uh, Zord at um, uh, Music Guy uh, for uh, a party in a week. Um, and that doesn't sound like the most interesting quest, I'm honest, so that, that's why I'm very worried that uh, they like only took the quest because I used the word quest. And that would be a shame. They did. Uh, Funnily enough, uh, a little uh, girl called Gail, Gailby Smallstone, I, I kind of stole her from uh, Candlekeep Mysteries. Um, she, uh, well, she tagged along um, on the quest and we made like jokes, like she's definitely gonna die. Um, and that was like the end of the session, uh, of session 7. Uh, which almost which uh, pretty much brings us immediately by session 8. Um, it was pretty straightforward. They did uh, go to Sardos Sword. Um, uh, yeah, and well, uh, offered him the job to play at the party, uh, perform with um, yeah, his crew. Um, they, I um, did at that point realize that, like, uh, in session 7, near the end, I didn't fully explain the quest. Uh, like, I didn't give them a lot of details. That's a problem for later. When um, they want to uh, give the details to Zardos. Um, but, um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, in session 8, they... Um, well, uh, they first went uh, to uh, uh, um, a tavern to, um, well, see if they could figure out where uh, Sardos Sword is, and um, that was uh, fun. They uh, like met two uh, 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 performers and a nimble fright um, of uh, Sardos Sword's uh, Sea Maiden Sphere, and um, yeah, they, they had some like. Uh, a conversation and uh, some drinks um, uh, before he went on the way uh, to went um, to send to the, the the dockyard because um, I um, a little bit foreshadowing uh, for a sea monster. Uh, um, there is a sea monster in the the sea here. Uh, well, there probably are more sea monsters. It's a deep harbor. Uh, and Sardos Sword has uh, three ships, a fleet of uh, three. And so I uh, thought it would be fun to uh, well put one of the ships uh, uh, in in the well be damaged by the sea beast. Uh, they don't know what sea beast it is yet, and I'm not gonna tell it yet. That's far too fun to uh, well find out on the way. Um, also, one of the players. Uh, the, the player characters. Uh, he, uh, Nick, he has a super large family. He has, uh, I believe, nine brothers and sisters in total. One of the guys is uh, a ship right. Uh, so I thought it would be fun if he owns uh, the Delta Dock. Um, so they uh, had a conversation together, which was also uh, quite, quite fun. Went uh, pretty well, I think. Um, um, and uh, yeah, from the dockyard they, they like were uh, rode across to uh, some sort of uh, uh, flagship. Um, over there they uh, uh, the, um, the eye catcher in uh, English I believe uh, I, I renamed it uh, the oogappel. 
Um, because I thought it would be a fun name. Um, yeah, they had some well dinner with uh, the guy Sardos, and uh, well also I had some fun with Sardos uh, having a lot of girlfriends. So that <laughs> I don't know, I enjoyed that. Um, things. Uh, a final thing I liked uh, was um, they hired uh, uh, Andre, I believe they are called. They are like the uh, the co uh, yeah the big uh, the big uh, horse carriage thing, uh, carriages. Um, the thing with a horse in front, you can ride them. Um, I had like the driver be uh, an old grumpy man that makes a lot of uh, back in my day kind of uh, dialogue um I was worried that it is a little it was a little bit repetitive dialogue but uh, well it it does immediately st uh, establish a quirk which might make it easier to uh, to remember him later on so um, uh, if he's a recurring character or something um uh, the things that didn't went quite right uh, as planned this uh, this session. Um, I found I found uh, I well, I I thought it took a little bit longer than I wanted to uh, get to the ship. Um, but on the other hand, yeah, well, it was fine, I guess. Um, it felt more drawn out than it probably was, but uh, you know, a little bit of a slower session. Um, also, uh, s uh, I um, when they met uh, Sardos, I uh, didn't um, think he had anything. Uh, I hadn't prepared any useful uh, dialogue for him, so. Um, he just kind of uh, took the, the the mission. Um, um, and yeah. Uh, also, um, a little bit of a funny thing. Um, when they interrogated the Veret, he he said uh, he used to have an old uh, um, an old hideout in an old mill, uh, but he was uh, chased away with uh, the rest of uh, the Veret gang. Um, and I had placed like a marker on the beach, um, called the old mill. Um, but the the players never got uh, the directions. I just presumed he would have asked him. Um, so it was a little bit of a weird hiccup. Uh, do we know the mill is here or not? And so I decided you don't. Um, but the fun thing is about that is uh, I can now put the, the mill anywhere if I ever need a mill. Uh, so, um, so yeah, th it's not all bad. Uh, but that caused a little bit of confusion at the start, which was a shame. So, um, these were two very uh, well uh, talk 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 heavy uh, sessions. Um, we didn't have a combat in it, so I think that's for the session 9, we uh, will get back into action. Um, I already have plans, um, I'm thinking about uh, doing some shenanigans in uh, in a temple, but uh, that's for uh, next time, so uh, uh, cheers.